So this week we're going to tackle side bend. So similar to last week in as far as that we want to keep the stretch as pure as possible without putting twist into it um, or detracting from it in any way. So if we just once again go to the wall, I've got a cupboard here, but a, a wall or something that will just align your body. And we're gonna put both buttocks against the wall, both shoulder blades, back of head. And then we're gonna raise one arm up. We're gonna stretch into it. So now thumb and first finger touching your wall. As you breathe out, relax the opposite shoulder, the loose shoulder. And just ease your way over. Keep all the points of contact back of the head, both buttocks, both shoulder blades. And don't force this side bend. Let your spine tell you how far it wants to go. Might surprise you. Side bend develops very quickly. So if you do it every day for a week, you will notice a marked improvement. So a lot of joints there moving. Stretch out, raise the arm. This is important, stretch up. So you take the weight off the lumbar spine, very vulnerable area of the spine. And then you can ease your way back. Let's go to the other side. Left arm up, stretching up, making my points of contact. And I'm relaxing over to the right. That right shoulder is relaxed, easy. The arm is just hanging. Thumb, tip of thumb, tip of index finger against the wall, along with the back of your head, both shoulder blades, both buttocks. And just let it grow, give it time, breathe into it out, that all important lift up, stretch up, ease the spine back, fans out, opening one side, closing the other. So the closed side, getting rid of the toxins, little roll of the shoulders, bend the knees, squeeze the shoulders forward. Coming back to my mat and we're going to take a wide step because a classic side bend in yoga postures is trikonasana, triangle posture. You see this, this is one of the first postures that is taught to you. So we're going to apply that that we've just done against the wall into trikonasana. We're stretching up and we're reaching out. Turn out, we'll go to the right first, so turn out right foot. Turn the palms down, be soft, float. Keep the shoulders loose, easy, fluid, along with the arms, as if you're just resting on the air, flying like a bird. As you breathe in, lift the rib. Now shift the rib cage out to the right, far as you can, and simply let the arms rotate. You're not trying to get to the ground. I know that when you see this posture in books, they often put the hand flat on the ground. It really depends on how wide your legs are. So if you feel you want to try and get your hand on the floor, you need a wider stance for your feet. We're going to stretch up on in breath 
and as you breathe out, just relax and your body will ease in to a deeper side bend. But what we don't want is to get your hand to the floor for you to twist the spine, place the hand on the floor and then yank the shoulder back because that is not a side bend. It's a twisting forward bend. So don't be eager to get close to the floor. Be more concerned about your beautiful fan-shaped spine which is invigorating, strengthening. If you can keep the balance, look up to the sea. If you can't, look straight ahead. We're gonna stretch up and ease our way back. Sometimes the bones of the spine make little cracking noises. Don't worry about that. It's not anything that is gonna harm you. We're lifting left arm up again. I'm going to do the angle. And we're going to bend right knee. Elbow resting on the knee. Nice straight line from fingertips to outside edge of left foot. Gentler side bend to ease you out of that stronger triangles stretch. And release down. Turn the feet to parallel and just come down with a nice straight spine into an easy forward bend. Your head relax, give it a little shake out, gently wriggle shoulders. He'll toe the feet in a little closer, just once. Make sure feet parallel, tuck the tail down so you feel the stretch and slowly unroll the spine. Build it, one bowing on top of the other. Take a nice easy stretch and a little bit of a back bend and release. Widen the feet once more, we'll do all that on the other side. So we're turning out left foot this time. We're stretching up. Arms are soft and easy. The strength is coming from here in the abdominal area. Spread the arms, soften, float on the air. Like a bird, free, flying. Lift the rib cage, shift out to the left. And then when you can't stretch out anymore, slowly lower left arm, hand coming in front of that leg, right arm stretching up. Breath in to stretch up, breath out to relax and let go. One more. <sighs> Lovely open shoulders, chest facing forward, head turned up to look at the ceiling or straight ahead. Stretch up, ease back and release. Bend left knee. Still a side bend, but more gentle for this one. Right arm lifting. Stretch up, turn the palm to face left. Lengthen through the rib cage, the shoulder joint, the elbow, the wrist, the fingers. Now just release down so the elbow rests comfortably on your left knee. Straighten the line from fingertips to outside edge of right foot. And release down. Turn 
the feet to parallel. Relax. Ease them in. One heel toe. So it's a little easier, relaxed forward bend. Loosen shoulders. Loosen the neck by rocking the head. Stay for a breath or two as long as you need. And then bend the knees. And slowly, slowly up. The feet together or close. You need to be right together. And then just slowly stretch up. And release. your mat up a little bit, make a pleat in it so you have something to kneel on and just bring left foot forward. We're breathing in, stretching right arm up, reach up, this left hand can relax down beside you Adding the weight to left shoulder. So you just ease over to the left. Stretch out, lift up and lower. Change legs. This arm relaxed, hanging from the shoulder. Left arm lifts. Stretch up. Knees into your side bend. Again, no force. Doesn't matter how far it goes. You want it to feel good. Lift up and stretch up, draw back and lower. So we're going to take that a little bit stronger now. We're kneeling on the right leg and we're going to stretch out left leg. We're raising right arm up. Reach up, grow to work. Quite like, I quite like to bring a mudra into this, first finger and thumb touching. It could be any of the fingers touching. Each one represents the elements that make up the um, entity that is you. This is air, this one. Stretch up and ease your way up. Arm coming alongside the head, there's no rotation. I'm not forcing my way into this. I'm just letting it happen. And it will happen because gravity is working with you. Remember when you come up, you need to stretch out first to bring the strength to the spine. Then lift the arm up, stretch again and draw back up and lower. Other side. So we're stretching out right leg, lifting left arm, lift up. We'll use the mudra on this side. Ease your way over. Keep the chest facing forward. Don't force anything. Just go with it as far as it wants. And relax the head a little if you want to. Stretch out. Lift up. All important, stretch up. Draw back 
and the other. Put the knees together. Get rid of your padding for now. And just sit back on your heels. Rest your hands in your lap, thumbs together, left palm in right. Let the head just slowly relax forward. The head is heavy. So use it to just realign your spine. Three breaths. I'm rolling from the base. So the rib cage lifts, feel the spine realigning, one bone on top of the other. Unroll the head, last. Take a nice easy stretch out and just spread that energy all around. side bends. So I'm just going to roll my mat over a little bit but you could use a yoga block or a cushion. Or a book even as long as you don't fall off it. And we're just going to sit nice and comfortably with the legs, knees bent if you can. just called Siddhasana, um, heels in alignment, knees relaxed, close to the floor as they naturally go. We're doing that side bend once more. So we're lifting, this time I'm going to take the middle finger, the ether element, balance and awaken. Slide out, right hand. Again, this is very controllable. You can go just as far as you want. If you just want to bend the elbow slightly, that's fine. But please try to let this opposite knee relax so you get the full stretch on that left side of the body. You may find if you stay for a few breaths, your elbow is happy to relax down. And then it really feels nice because you can really relax into it. Don't let the head look down. It's looking out or slightly upward. So the chest is open, the shoulders are aiming to be in line. Stretch is actually quite deep. Stretch out. Lift up. Reach up. Nice and easy to come up. Just push on that right hand. Eases you back. And then draw back to the middle. And release. So this time I've got right foot in front. And I'm going to lift right hand up. If you can't sit in Siddhasana, sit in any cross-legged pose that you can do. But Siddhasana does keep you very firmly rooted to the floor. So it's a good base to work from when you're moving your spine around. So let's go to the left. I'm raising right arm. I'm using the mudra again with the middle finger. Stretch up, separate those vertebrae, slide that left hand away. And just let it gently ease in to whatever side bend your body will allow. Might be different on this side, might not go as far as the other side. Body is unique. If you do find one side a lot weaker than the other, you should really work that side more often. So maybe do it twice instead of once. Stretch 
check out, lift up, big stretch up, push on the lower hand, the left hand, ease yourself back up, stretch out the legs, just a comfortable V shape, just doing a little counter posture, hands behind you, lift chest up, Roll shoulders back and just tip the face up to look at the ceiling a few feet in front of you. Just a very gentle back bend to realign the spine. Just mentally look at it. One bone on top of the other, perfectly central with a slight back bend. Push on the hands, just strengthening the wrists while we're here. And release back. So now we're going into our last side bend for this week. We're going to bring the left, sorry, the right leg in. And we're going to turn out the left leg. Have a little rock back and forth. Don't push it out too far too quickly. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't go that far out um, to the left um, because you can turn the body to um, make sure it is in fact a side bend. Just gently, if you get any cramping up, you will need to release it and rub it out and maybe bend the knee and go back into it. And if it still doesn't go, the cramping up, you can get that sometimes when you're doing strong stretches. Um, do the other leg first, rather than forcing to do this, the leg that you planned. Left hand, resting on inside of left leg. And we're going to breathe in, lengthen, right arm straight out in front of you. And then we're going to slowly open out to the side. Let the body just turn slightly, lengthen both arms, and then just slide right hand, sorry, left hand down towards the foot. The right arm comes up, stretch up, keep lengthening the left arm, finally let the top arm come down alongside the head. Again, we're not forcing anything. We're just relaxing. Chest is open, facing outwards. Head is relaxed toward left shoulder. Left arm is as long as it can be. Right arm soft, around the head, not in front of it. Stretch out, lift up. Up, ease back. Take left hand, rest it on right knee. Right hand behind you, just towards um, the back of your seat. We're just going to let this left hip joint rotate in the hip joint. So the leg rotate in the hip joint. Turning slowly, let the knee turn to the floor on that left leg and just look over right shoulder. Ease back. Make sure your sitting bone is still on your padding. You may be able to widen your leg a bit more. We're going to go once more to this side. So let's go once more. Lengthen. Sweep out. Lengthen the arms, right arm up, still soft, stretch up, relax over, take your time, ease your way into this stretch. Close your eyes if you want to, but don't let your head relax and drop forward. We want those open your shoulders, open chest. Open heart center. So our side bend is pure. 
And we're not forcing it. So if you don't touch this foot, it doesn't matter. Just go wherever you can go to. It will improve all on its own if you practice often. Stretch out, lift up, turning the head to look up so that the spine is controlled. Ease your way back and lower. And this time we're going to take that right knee and we're going to point it towards the short end of our mat. Let the back leg rotate in the hip joint so the hands can be on the floor, equal weight on both hands. And we're going to see if we can just bring the hands up to rest on the bent leg. Straighten the arms just as much as you can. Just a nice easy back bend. Slight tip up of the head but the elbow is still slightly bent so the shoulders don't Come up round the ears and release. Ease your way back, stretch out the legs, give them a bounce, wriggle the shoulders, gently turn the head from side to side, just loosening out those different little areas in the spine. And then let's do the other side. So we've got left foot in close to the body, right leg outstretched. Right hand against right leg. We're lifting left. Sweep it out. Lift up. Reach into it. And just relax your way over. No rush. This is the first one. We're just letting our body tell us where it wants to go. Feeling that lovely stretch through the spine, that invigorating process that is going on. Don't hold this first one too long. Stretch out, lift up. Turn to look up, chest is still open. Heart centre, facing out to the world. Stretch up, draw back. Gentle twist, right hand on left knee, left hand behind, letting the leg rotate in the hip joint, look towards left shoulder. Just easing out the lower back. Slowly back. See if the leg is willing to go a little wider apart. And let's go for number two. Stretch out, lengthen, sweep the arm out. Lengthen both arms. And then that right arm just relaxes in front of right leg. And we lift the left arm up. Take another stretch and then release your arm. Slowly down. Easy, easy does it. Don't rush it. Let it grow in its own time. But always edging this right lower arm, the right one, out towards the foot or beyond it. If you've already got to the foot, go longer. Stretch beyond. And then the top arm, just relaxing around the head. Or you may be able to just reach out for the toes. Breathe it. Feel how different the breath is when you're in this position. Breath is life force. And you are taking it into your body in a different way. In every posture that you do. That is the science of yoga. And that is how it works to keep you strong and healthy. Stretch out, lift up, just the arm, stretch up and just slowly drag the body back and release. 
we're going to turn out that right knee, hands on the floor, let the back leg just roll its way round so the knee facing the floor. Lift the chest up, the face up. If you can, bring the hands to rest on the inside of the knee. Straighten the arms as far as you comfortably can, but not completely, because if you straighten them right up, the shoulders come up round your neck and obliterate the neck and you lose the whole beauty of the posture and the feel of it, the expansion of it. And release when you've had enough. Ease back your legs. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Knees are bent and we're going to slowly unroll. Try and do it. Slow and controlled. Press the hands alongside the body, palms up, fingers soft, chin down. And just let your spine relax against the floor. Feel the bones just being drawn to gravity. You place them in a straight line. So now as you let go, that line is supported by the floor beneath you. You want to bring the feet in further. The closer the feet are, the more likely you are to have the lumbar spine close to the floor, so better supported. Take a few easy breaths. Close your eyes, look into your space, just feel that sense of peace, stillness, emptiness. Try and keep that space empty, not allowing outside interests to push their way in there. And then we're going to take a full stretch, stretching the arms up and lowering on an out breath. Hands behind the small of the back, coming up nice and easy. So hopefully you enjoy your side bend. It's very important in yoga. It's, it is the invigorator really of yoga. Side bend and back bend are great invigorators. Um, and it improves your core muscle strength, as I said at the beginning, and um, generally adds to your strength and flexibility. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you feel as if um, you'd like to do it a few times. Um, and be aware of what is actually happening now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening. Om Shanti.